And the first question I have for you is on leadership and responsibility. Now, much has been made of the management style of the pre previous governors. A de facto head of party with strong arm tactics of getting things done to our current governor who has been con been con criticized for not being as politically savvy as he needed to be. First, can you explain what your management and leadership style is? Ed, thank you so much for the question. Um, I'm the only person in this race uh, on the Democratic side that has any experience in an executive role in government. And my role was to rebuild the Detroit Health Department after it had been shut down when the city was facing bankruptcy and emergency management. Coming into a role like this, uh, one has to understand the political maneuverings, working with all three levels of government, working in municipal government with state government and federal government as well, um, as well as taking something from the ground up and building it. To me, I believe that strong leaders are people who can set a vision and then execute on the details with respect to that vision, always thinking about how one builds a, a coherent, constructive team and a culture that believes in itself and the believes in the vision that we set forward. I'm really proud to have done that at the health department. I took it from uh, five employees and 85 contractors in the back of the building where people pay parking tickets in Detroit uh, to five different campuses, more than doubled the size of, of, of the staff at the health department, multiplied city funding for public health 10 times, and most importantly, set us on a path. And our vision was that we would break down the barriers for kids to be able to learn and earn in Detroit like we would want for any child anywhere. To me, I believe in always thinking about the positive, always empowering my teammates, and recognizing that real leaders are servants of the people that they lead. And that's the culture that I hope to bring to, to state government, uh, a recognition that across this 50,000 person bureaucracy, um, those who work in civil service haven't been empowered by their leadership for a very long time. And to me, my question will always be, how do I help you do the work that you do? Because I believe in that work and the people of the state of Michigan deserve you to be your best civil servant. Uh, and that's what I look forward to doing at the state level. Now, as a Democratic candidate, uh, if you are elected governor, you will be the leader of the Democratic Party. Do you see it as your role to stay in lockstep with what the Democratic Party's agenda is? I believe our role is to, to help set the Democratic Party's agenda. And I'll be clear with you, I don't believe that the Democratic Party has had a strong agenda for a very long time. I think we've been confused about what our responsibility is. And my responsibility as the de facto leader of the Democratic Party in the state of Michigan will be to set us on a path recognizing that our role is to be the champion of poor and working people across the state, to be able to put government in positions where it needs to be and take it out of positions where it doesn't need to be, and to recognize that the way we do that has as much to do with the process as it does with the product. And unfortunately, too many Democrats have been playing by Republican rules, bringing in corporate money into our Democratic primary, and it's what sullies our ability to speak coherently, honestly, and forthrightly about a message of being about poor and working people against the corporations who have dominated our politics for a very long time. So under my leadership, the Democratic Party will certainly take a turn. Our responsibility will be honest about being that partner for working uh, and poor folks across our state. Um, and I think people will start to see a, a real difference. But we will be a lot more activist on the ground. To me, you know, our whole campaign, we don't ask for uh, corporate money. We're not all about running huge, big ads. Instead, uh, we've made two times as many voter contacts as any other uh, candidate in this race combined. And, um, and we know that if we can touch people and we're having that conversation and we're looking people uh, in the eye, having conversations on the front porch instead of the back room, that's when we succeed. And that's what the party will, uh, will become under my leadership.